as always, Gothra Gug is here to run the street today. How are we all doing? I thought I would just do a quick stream. Uh, not feeling too great today, so I thought we could run through the joy that is marketing, branding, and generally putting together an exhibition. There's a lot more involved than you would think. Uh, I have the Forest Fruit Tea by Lloyd today. I have Goth Frog Dog. I think we're good. We're going to give it a couple of minutes for people to come and join us. Sit with us. And it... Yeah, who knew? <laughs> and discuss the joy that is... You okay? Okay. <laughs> I don't even know half the time. Honestly, I think there's something very wrong with my dog. Yay, baby. Okay, he's, he's the only reason we get any views. Honestly, I should just put him in the title. Like, Gothrock Dog Runs Stream About Art. Um, yeah, so we're just chatting today. Uh, there's going to be no art in this stream. You know, putting it out there. This is very much... Uh, an info dump um, it is going on YouTube as part of my module so we're, we're calling this a module can you step away from the mouse thank you stop trying to edit the scene all right um, <laughs> no what did I just say let's put the mouse over all right um, so yeah so <clears throat> I might crochet we'll see how I feel I still have to finish my January snood. I've only got like five days left on it. But I kind of need to rebold the wall, which is what this is. Just here. So, those of you who know me know that I have my first solo exhibition this year um, as part of my degree. And I thought, rather naively, having done many exhibitions, that this would be easy about that <laughs> um yeah no um every other exhibition i've ever done there's been other artists involved and a lot of the marketing and things like that has been done by the colleges or wherever i am at the time so i don't think i would quite realized just how much goes into having a full like actual okay um there we go yeah a full actual like exhibition that i have to do everything for so um we'll run through what it is i need to do ah uh, and what i've already done so what i've already done um, I decided that we were going to have goodie bags for like the first 25 visitors. It's like my incentive to get people in. Um, so the first 25 visitors are going to receive a goodie bag. I need to go and talk to the venue um, to see if they'll let me buy 25 drinks. Um, so I can have drinks vouchers. Uh, out of my zero budget we're doing well i have no budget for this it's great um i don't get my next student loan until april and my exhibition is in may so that's fun and interesting um so yeah so i'm doing these goodie bags and i want to include obviously business cards obviously um maybe like a lollipop with my brand sticker on it i can make those at home not the lollipops the stickers <laughs> you can buy the lollipops well you, you stop kicking the mouse All right um we'll move it in a minute so i yeah so i wouldn't do lollipops um obviously the bag itself is going to be branded and made for the occasion hopefully by my favorite queen bee um who at some point I will be able to link in chat and I don't know how to do that yes uh, if only any of my moderators ever turned up 
I need new moderators. But yeah, um, so yeah, lollipops, business cards, drinks voucher, some other small thing. Um, because the level threes are exhibiting at the same time as me in the same space, I've said that they can include their info uh, in these goodie bags. Um, and I'm not, I'm not charging them for that. It's just, you know, gives them a little bit of an incentive. I had help when I was level three, level four, so. Um, and that, that is what I've done, right? I need to sort out the lollipops and obviously I need to buy the sticker paper. And once I've finished redesigning the logo, which is going well, um, then I can just get those printed up. Now, in the meantime, I'm learning how to use things like Illustrator so that I can actually do these vectors that I will need for printing. Okay. Um, I have got a quote for t-shirts. <laughs> right? That is brilliant because for like it, for adults it's £15 a t-shirt and for kids it's £10 a t-shirt. And just, just for the kids, that's 30 quid, all right? So let's say I have three adults plus the three kids, that's 75 pound out of my zero pound budget. Are we, we, we doing well? I, I need to write all this budget up. Um, yeah, by Friday, I should do that. There's like, there's some stuff I need to do today. Um, but yeah, so that's, that's fun um it's the zero pound budget i feel that's like mostly letting me down uh i could wait until april to get a lot of the things but then that's very last minute since my open evening is the 12th of may um i need to make sure i pay the caterer for the 12th uh that that's also going to be fun and make sure that we have an alcohol license in place and things like that will you leave your eyeball alone um so that's another thing that needs to be done will you just leave your eyeball alone leave your eyeball alone allergies my boy has allergies um so that's that's fun out of my zero pound budget, my caterer and my open evening. Now, actually, I think as long as people buy drinks and stuff in the venue for the open evening, I think that I will probably get that at a decent price because Debbie loves me. Mm. So that's one thing. So that's sorted. The caterer knows that they're going to be there on the 12th of May and I need to go through what I want with them. Um, it's going to be Asian themed um, and vegan, much to quite a few people I know's disappointment, but never mind. Um, I want to be able to eat the food. <laughs> and that's going to be uh, an invite only private event, um, which means that it's probably going to be me, my dad and Bex, plus tutors from college. <laughs> that's going to be it. Just like. <laughs> be five of us sat in this open evening going yeah this is great look at my art we've looked at your art look at your art again look at it look at the art <laughs> oh um i might get marketing involved as well but i don't want them taking over as a bit of a thing so we've got that going on right none of that can happen until i finish my branding now i'm very close to redoing my logo kind of i haven't decided on a font i think i have an idea of which font i want to use this one called artist which oddly i had already looked at and then somebody else suggested um it looks like a brush stroke like has it looks like the letters have been painted and it's actually if you use it in full color it's actually quite colorful as well so hopefully that'll go with the new vision for the brand um the logo i've decided to do in the rainbow colored frog um with a very pale green background 
So that's one of the things I'm going to be working on later on today. In fact, um, I should be downstairs doing some build work today for my assessment, uh, assessment on Friday. But my hip is being a knobhead. So we're upstairs today. Please appreciate the frogs, right? This, this, this was from a shop I don't normally go in. This was from Primark. And oh my gods, I live in this thing now. Look at it. Look at the frogs. Look at the kittens. <clears throat> That's why I am the goth frog. So yeah, so I'm upstairs doing some work. And I thought I'd keep you all updated. Um, where was I? I got totally distracted by myself then. So yeah, so that's the stuff that's going on with that. Um, so I need to, I'm going to get the graphics tablet out today, finish converting my logo into an SVG file so that it can be put onto everything and tidy that up, um, get the colours in and get the background on. Um, which means I'm going to do the thing I said I would never do. Today I sign up my Adobe Creative Cloud account. It's got to be done. It's got to be done. I actually really need it. Even if I only have it until the end of May, I actually really need it right now. Just for all this website and branding stuff. Who knew? Who knew, right? Uh, apart from everybody who told me I would need it. But apart from everybody who told me I would need it, who knew? <laughs> So I've got that going on. Um, so that's always fun and interesting. Oh my goodness, there's just so much. Like, I need to figure out who to get in touch with for marketing. Like, obviously, BBC Radio Leicester, Leicester Mercury are the two that come to mind. There's a paper that comes through my door. But that's all money I don't have. <laughs> Remember my zero pound budget? Yeah. Um, so I need to figure out if there's like any, I know I can maybe get flyers into a few places, which means I need to get my flyers designed and made up. Uh, I'm not a graphic designer. I'm an artist. I don't know what I'm doing. And I still haven't actually come up with a name for my exhibition yet. And I'm concerned that the message is being lost and because there's been so much concentration on the miniature side of it and the psychology behind the miniatures and everything else which is great and i love that but that was never the intended message and i am concerned that the intended message is being lost amongst everything else If you can hear scratching, he's now scratching his ears. I do apologise. Um, so yeah, so I have concerns that that message is being lost. So I really need to kind of push that message. So I've had an idea as far as the actual exhibition is concerned. Now, obviously we all know I'm building a miniature art gallery. Because I don't like myself. That's enough. Hey, that's enough. Um, but now I'm thinking I could build it on top of a see-through box maybe an inch and a half the size of the base of the art gallery and inside that box put all the detritus and rubbish caused by art so yeah empty, empty paint tubes paint pans like brushes that kind of thing and just kind of build this immaculate gallery i want to get some and me so I want to get some like plastic skeletons of like birds and stuff and put them in there and get that kind of idea again totally inspired by Mr. Mark Dion and get that idea that this gallery of art has been built on this environmental issue maybe even like have a stream running in it that's dirty and has like a dead animal I don't know but basically it's another diorama underneath the diorama so that we're not losing that main message that art at my level 
at college level, at home business level, is still bad for the environment because of a lack of transparency, because of a lack of education, um, and that kind of thing. Okay, so I just I need to work out how to include that because I need that message including that's it's really important that that message gets out there otherwise it's kind of pointless the whole thing is pointless I don't want people to just look through the windows and be like oh look pretty miniature art gallery and I'm not sure if people will pay attention to the images I'm projecting onto the walls which will be the images of inside the art gallery because you know accessibility is fun um, and not everybody can see inside the miniature And also because my fine art subject specialist is also ma massively into digital work. <laughs> but it is, it makes sense to have the the uh, cameras and projectors. Um, and then if I am making <coughs> my tiny artworks, then I can get them. I'm going to do it in Illustrator. This is why I'm going to do it. I can get them made up as like paintings and have those as, on, as part of the projector. It looks like we're going to get two cameras and two projectors i don't know yet i have asked if there's any way of having four cameras and two projectors with rotating imagery so it's not static um so that's that's the thing there's just there's like there is so much going on and i don't i don't know if artists normally have to do everything themselves that's the thing especially with like we started we started this semester this year in september october started in october and obviously october to december was the collaboration project took up most of our time along with the design boards and the um, design report for that okay um, and then <coughs> there was also <coughs> the research viva from October to just before Christmas um, so I did that got that passed and then Friday is the next Viva. Now, in the middle of that, we had the Christmas break. Um, we had Yule and everything, and the solstice. So, you know, kind of hard to do. Will you, will you just leave your earbuds alone? Thank you. Um, so that's kind of been in the middle, and then it's kind of really jumped upon me, which means that I now only have from now until May the 12th. That's not a lot of time for setting up an exhibition. And if I'm having to cover a lot of these costs, I can't, will you leave your ears alone? Leave your ears alone. It's my ear. There, here we go. How's that? If I'm having to cover a lot of these costs, then I can't do that until April because thanks to losing some government money because uh, apparently I miraculously can walk again um, I can't afford to put my own money into it at the minute so everything would have to be done when I get my loan in April just before the exhibition so if I can like plow forward obviously this assessment this week is me showing where I've developed my work from research and where I'm moving forward I now need to get on with the build but in between getting on with the build I also need to market and brand and everything else whilst simultaneously still learning how to use a computer to build websites and various other things on a Wednesday.
Which is the work. I said I wasn't going to do in the first place anyway, but I've kind of resigned myself to doing it. So I'm kind of... I mean, there's just so much to do. I have a tutorial tomorrow with my head tutor and I could probably need to remember to say all of this to her rather than my usual thing of, yeah, everything's fine. <laughs> my default, yeah, everything's fine. Uh, everything is fine. It's just that there is a lot to do and I don't know, I don't think college is going to be able to help me up with quite a lot of it because at the end of the day, I'm a degree student and I'm expected to do a lot of this myself. But having said that, like, I'm pretty sure that the guys that exhibit at DMU get a lot more help because they're in, in an art cohort. And because this is a business degree, that's where the problem's coming in. And I've said this a few times now, that yes, it is a business degree. It is a business degree. I am doing a business degree. However, I'm doing a business degree for creatives. And it's not my fault that they're not used to having fine artists on this degree. And by them, I mean DMU, not Leicester College. Leicester College have done everything they possibly can for me. Um, I, I can never, never express just how amazing Leicester College has been in making allowances for a fine artist when the course is very much aimed towards web designers and graphic illustrators I will always be horrendously thankful for the amount of work that Leicester College has done for me but DMU who we you know they're meant to be in partnership with have been less than helpful. <coughs> Sorry if that's my dog. <coughs> Bear with me. I just need to... That's next door. I'll be right back. Sorry about that. Next door we're not in, so I get their post. 
this is regular occurrence earlier i had to rescue her parcel as well so oh no i feel terrible oh and i've forgotten what i was saying my brain my brain man i need a new brain do i have a new brain so Oh, can you just rewind that and tell me what I was saying? <sighs> hey. Oh, yeah, I'm kind of confused. I'm going to share my vegan crisps. <gasps> I found vegan cheese and onion crisps. This is the greatest day of my life. I'm not vegan. I am predominantly vegan. Oh, yeah, no good. You don't know what it is. Told you. Mm. So, yeah, there's a lot going on. I kind of don't know where to start. I mean, obviously, at the minute, I'm concentrating on this assessment because that's important. <laughs> hey, D. He does. He does want them. Except he also doesn't want them because they're not real cheese. And he can tell. Welcome to the stream of, oh dear gods, I have so much to do and I don't know where to start. <laughs> yes. Dion, this top is your fault. I would not have bought this if I had not have gone in there looking for the trousers that I can't have, which I'm very sad about. I end up buying the frog top instead, and now I live in it. What are you doing? <laughs> Honestly, I'm just going to rename this the Jake channel. Like, here's my dog being stupid. Okay. Okay, are we good? Can I continue discussing my work? That's what I was saying. So, dear you, I pretty much think that their art students get a lot more help with a final exhibition on their degree than I'm getting because I'm technically not an art student. I'm a business student, but my final product is a, a degree exhibition, so I don't... What is going on right now? feel better for that? Do I smell like you now? Are you good? <laughs> Do you want to try again? You licked it. Cool. I can never eat that one. Um, so yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know if they, maybe they can help. It might be worth asking my tutor if, if we get any extra help from DMU because I just don't have the money to do what I need to do because like even just something as simple as producing flyers is not cheap I now have the, the sounds of my dog eating crisps it's today's ASMR you want another one you can't have many there you go there we go that was today's ASMR uh, yeah, so even something like putting together flyers and posters and things like that aren't cheap. Um, and I don't know what I could get done through college. And even at college prices, it's not going to be cheap. I don't know. Um, it's, it's starting to get difficult. And then like every time i say i might need this material to our tech who i love our tech she's brilliant and she's like i don't know if i've got that or you can buy that from here that's kind of defeating the point i don't want to buy new materials to build my environmentally friendly ethically sustained art gallery and i was like there's just so much there's just there's so much right now and the, the 
the biggest thing about it is, is today's what? If Friday's the 10th, today must be the, it's literally right there on my computer, the 7th. So today's the 7th of February. I'm exhibiting on the 12th of May. That's two months. I've got two months. I just, mm, I don't have enough time. I don't have enough time and whilst all this is going on I'm still expected to learn how to use a computer to put together a website which is a skill I will never need because I have every intention of paying somebody else to do it. <laughs> I know people who I can pay to do it, like you there, build me a website, make it pretty, but I'm currently not in a position to need or want a website anyway because at the minute I'm not actually selling any work because I don't have time because I have an exhibition <laughs> in May <laughs> hello new person how you doing Welcome to Ag. There's too much going on. Are you are you gonna be mean and trolly or nice and lovely? So I kind of I don't know I don't even know right now. Obviously I'm working on the logo. Like that's that's a given. I'm working on the logo. I'm gonna be plugging in the graphics tablet after the stream and I'm gonna be doing the vectors and everything else um, that will then get turned into business cards now that is one thing I can get done fairly cheaply um, is have business cards printed and I'm probably going to do something horrendous like Vistaprint or Moo or something like that um, and if I found out they existed the other day so that's a thing and that's, that's a fairly inexpensive one um, once I've got the business cards, I can then look at making all that information into a flyer and a poster. I still need to come up with a name for this exhibition, which is a chore in itself. Like naming exhibitions, it's got to be something catchy, but it's got to get interest, but it's got to say what you're doing, but you don't want to give away too much. And I like... I don't know it's just mm, there's a lot there when you're putting together an exhibition and being the only person on my course who's doing it this way is proving to be a problem and that's the other thing like everybody all the tutors and everything all that they're all great for a business degree and that's fantastic which last year was brilliant doing my business plan doing my dissertation brilliant this year i'm not doing that you know i'm, I'm doing this actual exhibition and whilst i'm doing an exhibition the only other person who's doing anything that comes even vaguely close is doing some amazing graphic novel illustrations and covers but everybody else's graphics web or wants to be an influencer or you know wants to make the kind of stickers and badges that goes onto these streams once you reach affiliate which should be by the end of this stream by the way just so we know um so i'm the only person doing fine art which again puts me at both an advantage and a disadvantage. I have the advantage that the tutors get really excited, it's something different, it's something they've not done before, but I'm at the disadvantage that I don't have anybody else in my cohort to turn to when I've got this much on my plate. Will you leave your eyes alone? Um, to help out and obviously they've all got their own thing going on so it's not like i can go oh can you just knock this together for me as part of your graphics will you leave your eyeballs alone the dog the dog is allergic to himself i swear he is 
And whilst everybody around me is really helpful, like my brother is really supportive, my partners are really supportive, my friends are really supportive, none of them are artists either. So they're supportive without knowing how to be supportive. Like they want to help, they don't know how, or yeah, it's just, it's an interesting position to be in definitely an interesting position to be in um and i'm gonna have to bite the bullet and make a gantt chart because actually it's got to the point where i should probably should timetable up when i need to do stuff so that i can do it and days like today when my hip is really bad and i'm you know pretty much stuck in my bedroom um there's still work that I can do. So I can still be doing these vlogs with, uh, for those of you who are new, this actually is part of one of my modules, um, is to do, they wanted to do a blog originally, but I am better at talking than I am writing. Um, so this is part of my vlog. So I can do this upstairs and I can do work on my graphics tablet upstairs and that kind of thing. And that's fine. It does mean I'm not doing the build work for the assessment at the end of the week, but there's not much left on that to do now. Um, I've made the demonstration, the visual demonstration of the um, art gallery to not to scale. And I've made some tiny furniture and it's just to demonstrate the difference between a top down perspective and a front on perspective. Um, because I still haven't decided which way I'm doing that yet. Like, I have all these ideas and I don't know what I'm doing it has evolved it has evolved from the original idea of being a small box on a table right it has evolved but that evolution is starting to cause problems yeah. <laughs> like... oh which is great for my assessment because i can sit there and go it has evolved this is where this has moved on this is that research led to this, this didn't work. I bought this file, we printed it out, I built this house. This house was not scaled to anything at all, never mind the scale I needed. So now I'm gonna have to do things this way or this way and this is where I am. So from the point of view of needing those marks from that assessment, we're there, we're good, we've, we've got it covered. I need to figure out the step by step for the assessment on friday like i did last time i would, last time i used cue cards don't actually have any cue cards at home but i'll make some it'll be fine um so that's fine i have not been able to get a hold of a set of early 2000s in-ear headphones which i really need <laughs> before friday before Thursday, technically, because I need to build them into speakers. Now, you'll, if you're old enough, you'll remember, right? But the old headphones, they were solid plastic with a little bit of foam over the top. They were the most uncomfortable thing to put in your ears. But for somebody who's building miniature speakers, they're perfect. <laughs> and... Nobody has them because the world has moved on. I was hoping I could, you know, rock up to Poundland. That's a shop in the UK. Um, and like pick some up for like two quid. That was kind of what I'm hoping. Even Poundland has silicon in it. I'm just like, oh my God, I went into B&M. Six pound minimum, 12 pound. But they're no good to me because they have that weird tiny thin bit as the speaker. And that's not what I need because I need for you to be able to hear the noises because I'm doing this soundtrack of a gallery um, so that if you put your head close to the miniature I'm building you'll be able to hear standard noises from a gallery in miniature um, and I just can't get hold of these headphones like where did they all go where did they all go really I love you. Because <laughs> the idea is that I record I record the soundtrack. The soundtrack goes on to an MP3 player, phone, whatever. Um, and then I'm gonna build 
a tiny box around each headphone. So the actual headphones are fine. I'm not disassembling or anything. I just build a tiny box around each one that looks like a speaker so that the noise would come out of the speakers in the gallery. See the idea? <clears throat> See the fact that it's in a box D, would you even know which box to look in? Assuming it didn't get thrown away before the move, I mean, and if Marvin had anything to do with it. I've had so many people try and, yeah, see, you don't know which box it's in. We could be here for weeks. <laughs> I need to build this by Friday. <laughs> I need to do my little demonstration as part of my assessment, for my development. Because I'd, I wouldn't have left it to the last minute if, I, if I'd have known how hard it was going to be to get a hold of these things. Oh my goodness. And those people keep going, what about over the, over the ear? Like the cheap over, I was like, great, what am I going to do with the ear band? That's, I'm going to have to break those. That's not how that's going to work, is it? That's not helpful. <laughs> Honestly, it's just, it's a lot. There's a lot. It's a lot. And I just... And I'm mean, so I won't ask for help. Oh. I mean, I'm impressed that you've got it down to ten boxes. That's less than what I still have in my front room from when we first moved in. <laughs> I can't say anything. There you go. So yeah. Uh oh, is that crisp not good enough? That crisp's not good enough. My dog. I'm at an impasse. I don't even know. Right. If I do a timetable, and here is the other thing, folks, about being anywhere on the spectrum. Anywhere on the spectrum. You do a timetable, a few things might happen. Firstly, you forget that the timetable exists. Okay. But let's assume you're clever. You've put it where you can see it. Or, you know, replace my current art in progress with this timetable. It'd be in even more progress if I could remember where I'd put my pens. And I, I bought Posca, so I don't know where they are. Um, so you've put it where you can see it, right? And you wake up with every intention of doing the thing and then something shiny. You get distracted. You don't do it. <laughs> you wake up the next morning, you look at the thing, you're like, oh, I didn't do that yesterday, now I need to do yesterday and today. Oh, what? And then you get distracted, and then suddenly you're five days in, you've not done anything, and it's all too much. Um, that's, that's one of the ways it could go. Um, you write out your timetable, you get massively overwhelmed by how much work is on your timetable, so you hide. That's, that's another option. Now you're eyeing up the crisps. It's fine. You can have a little one in a second. I'm moving things so you can come join me. Um, so there's like... There's a million ways, as somebody with neurodivergence, that timetables just don't work. Lists don't work. I don't like lists. I'm not a list person. Uh, they, 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 they're just like the worst thing for me. Because lists are overwhelming. I look at lists and I'm like, oh, there's a lot on that. There you go. So I can't list. It's just like, 
there's no perfect answer you just have to find the way that works for you now me exactly you write a list you ignore it um occasionally i find post-it notes stuck everywhere help me out so currently i have a post-it note on the fridge that just says jazz do your laundry and i see it every day which is why i know it's there it's why i haven't forgotten about it i often forget to do my laundry but i'm getting better at that and then this one i have a little hangy thing i'm not sure which is on it at the moment but i have like a hangy thing for post-it notes that tells me what's in the freezer because i forget what's in the freezer so i have a little post-it note that's all like this is what you might want to think about for lunch this week you know i think at the minute there's like the homemade miso soup the tomato and pepper soup mm, the vegan cheese pie i need to eat that i might have that today so that's you know did you, why have you just gone out of focus are you focusing on my dog right now oh he's so much more important than me <laughs> Are you gonna refocus or are you just is that it? No. We're no longer focusing. Okay, that's fine. This is this is like this is the problem with Twitch over YouTube. Like if I could learn how to edit, I could edit out the bit where the camera just goes out of focus. <laughs> like, hello, camera. No? Okay. It's fine. I, everything is a blur right now anyway so it kind of works right <laughs> um so yeah lists don't work planners don't work timetables don't work i tried to keep a bullet journal for a while right and i did all right for about two months and i really enjoyed making the art and making everything pretty and then it just got really overwhelming really overwhelming now at the minute, I have managed a full month of an app on my phone to track my daily, just everything, whether I was in pain, whether I ate and that kind of thing. But that does not help with my artwork because that's an end of the day thing. It wouldn't remind me to do the artwork. You're just not gonna focus at all now. Okay, it's fine, it's fine. Mm, prettiness. Really? Okay. Um, why? Why are you out of focus? This is what I don't understand. Why have you decided that nothing can be a focus anymore? Do you know it? Just. <clears throat> not enough. Not enough pillows today. So I need to figure out a way of timetabling myself and taking into consideration days like today where I can't get downstairs very easily. I can see how that would work for you actually, yeah. Yeah, definitely. It wouldn't work for me, I'd forget the song. <laughs> I'm not so bad with depending I, Facebook's helped immensely with that because you can just kind of go on Facebook and look for the face why are these so dirty why are you so out of focus what can you can we focus where are we where is my focus point right now it's about there why is my focus point about there come on come on you can do it. You can't do it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's... That's yeah. <laughs> that's why a lot of people I know get nicknames. Like... Like Clovo and D-Bean and D 
and you know yeah I figure you're trying to say remember autocorrect doesn't like you <laughs> the best autocorrect so I don't I don't know I'm gonna make the chart I'm gonna make the Gantt chart I'm gonna do it later on today when my sister is available to help me I'm gonna make the Gantt chart I made a list I don't know where I put the list but I made a list of what I need to do where did I put the list it might be downstairs I'm great oh my actually i could do some buttered bread and put my crisps in the buttered bread and that'll be this vegan butter obviously and uh have a crisp sandwich for my lunch that might be a thing honestly mate i've got so much to do i don't know where to start i can't start at the beginning because we're already halfway through <laughs> and they're like I hope they're not expecting to see sketchbook sketches because I haven't got any, I haven't done any drawings yet. Everything is still very much in my brain. Like that's the next big thing for me is getting what is in my brain, out of my brain, onto paper. Mm, that sounds really good. I actually have some vegan bacon downstairs. I don't, I don't know where I'm at. I'm getting all very turned around with it as well. There's just so much to do. And every time I write a list, I get overwhelmed. I have to put the list down. Yeah, it's, it's, um, it's by a company called Vi, V-I-E. And it's the one that Burger King has started using in their, um, bacon burgers which are terrible bear with me one moment my birthday isn't for six months yet Uh, yeah, so, yeah, it's the one that, like, Burger King decides to do um, a bacon burger, vegan bacon burger, plant-based bacon burger. You're a bear. You are. And you, but you're not with me. That was not a bear with me. telling me they've already got like my next birthday present why is my camera giving up on focusing I just honestly oh, just, at least I'm going to do art for a bit I'm going to sign up for Adobe and I'm going to work on these vectors and I'm going to get my logo finished that's that's my plan since I can't get downstairs too easily and work on my work. Uh, but if anybody has any ideas on marketing, branding, running an exhibition solo. Do you know what I think even do I like furries? My best friend is a furry. It would be a terrible thing if I said no. <laughs> He'd be very upset with me if I said no. I am not one, but I know many. <laughs> That's very off topic though. Um, oh, I've got so much to do. 
Does anybody want to come do my work for me? I'm not even sure 100% where my graphics are. Oh no, I do know where my graphics tablet is. Uh, so I think that's probably it for today. I think I'm probably going to call it there and actually get on with doing the Spectre work. Sign up for Adobe. Um, have a crisp sandwich. Because crisp sandwiches are life. Uh... If you're American, do you know why Russia has difficulties with Ukraine and NATO? Because Putin exists. <laughs> because Russia. Because communism. Very off topic. You're a very off topic person. I'm loving the questions, but today is not the day for them. I've got too much on with it. I just like, I'll be sat down with the graphics tablet going, yeah, 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 I'm going to get this vector done. And then all of a sudden I'll be like, why does Russia have difficulties with the Ukraine and NATO? <laughs> My brain will be derailed. Oh, that's a lot of text to read. Yeah, I'm going to call it there because I've just had a message from a tutor and I'm probably going to have to read it. Um, yeah, so that's kind of catch up. I'll be here Wednesday. Um, Wednesday we will do some art. I'm moving the computer back downstairs at some point. I don't know if it'll be done by Wednesday. Um, but we will actually get back to doing some art because I have a lot of art to do. You can help me build some stuff. Um, in fact, yeah, that's what we'll be doing. Tomorrow, is that tomorrow? Is tomorrow Wednesday? Yeah, tomorrow's Wednesday. So I'll be back tomorrow. We'll be doing some build work, um, getting everything ready for the assessment on Friday. I know I missed Sunday. Um, no, I've not been great recently. Um, but hopefully Twitch will not penalise me too much because we know what they're like. Um, I'm going to send this over to YouTube now. I hope you all have a fantastic day. And hopefully I will see you all tomorrow around kind of 6, 6.30ish tomorrow evening. Dee, I love you. I uh, hope you all have a fantastic day. And I will see you later.